Joining us on the show to speak on imperative, in the imperative of regenerative medicine in tackling some terminal diseases is a renowned regenerative medicine specialist in adult stem cell therapy and platelet-rich plasma therapy, geriatric medicine, Dr. David Ikudaisi. Welcome to the show, sir. Oh, thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> you can join us on 81 Six nine four. You can also send us messages on YouTube and uh, Facebook. We'll be happy to read your messages. Dr. Ikudaisi, good to have you on the show. Now, regenerative medicine, um, before we even go further into all the options available, what does it mean exactly? Tell us what regenerative means. Well, uh, regenerative medicine is a fairly new area of medicine that has been existing for close to 25 years. Okay. And that is... Um, the area of medicine that deals with using cells and tissue in the body to repair, restore, rejuvenate, and regenerate any damaged tissue or organs in the body back to normal functioning state. So in plain English, can you say, so for example, you have a damaged heart or yes. a damaged liver, you can move some cells to repair. Let, 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 I want to just understand okay. what you mean by that. Break it down. All right. For example... Let's say someone has uh, maybe um, arthritis okay. and then pain. Um, they can use their own blood, okay. um, harness the growth factors inside the blood, or we, that's all we call stem cells. That is, cells that can multiply and differentiate. We all have that. that they are abundant in the fat in the stomach. Okay. Also, there's also stem cells in our bone marrow. Okay, yes. So you can use the blood, the fat, or the bone marrow from your own body okay. and then introduce it to anywhere there is uh, damaged tissue gotcha. and then that will start healing itself. Fantastic. Okay, so is this a true event or is this... Um... So I saw one time on TV okay. where a man had cut his finger off and they said doctors that were doing regenerative medicine found a way and uh, some, after a, a period of time, his finger grew back. Yes. So is that real or is that fake? Because when I saw it, I was like, is this real? How can a finger grow, up, grow back? And they were like, look at it. It even looks newer and fresher than all the other fingers. So is that regenerative medicine or is that computer work? Plastic surgery. No, no, no. <laughs> that is regenerative medicine. You okay. are very correct. Okay. Not only will the finger grow back, mm. the fingerprints at the tip of that particular and savage uh, finger yeah. will be restored. Exact print, the exact print. Wait now, wait now. Wait now. Wait now. <laughs> so the finger is off. Yes. yes. Not that they took that finger that cut off and put it back and then stitched it maybe after adding the cells. But it grew okay. from the injury. Now, before we get too excited about that, uh -huh. the depth of the injury or the length of Let's say, for example, uh, you know, the finger is kind of in three sections. If you yes. bend, you can yes. see, all right? Yes. So the distal or the extreme last part, if it's um, chopped up for whatever reason by mistake, uh -huh. you know, it can, uh, you can regrow that uh, finger. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, you put stem cells there. The stem cell will stimulate the regeneration of that uh, wow. part of the body. Mm. Actually, I like the way Mayor Clinic in U.S. defines regenerative medicine. They call it a game-changing area of medicine that is offering solutions and hope for people who have conditions today that are beyond repair. Mm. Mm. So in other words, when your doctor tells you, deal with it for the rest of your life, those that are in regenerative I'm medicine sure. say that there's still hope. hope. Oh. Mm. There's still hope. Okay. But mm. how mm. accessible is this hope? How, much? how affordable is this hope? Mm. Because it seems to me like it's a big man's... How do you now start, I've, I've, you know, watched a lot of movies when they talk about stem cells, and I know all the machines that are involved in this. Right. Are you yes. sure it's accessible to the common man? Uh, you see, health is worth. You cannot put price on anybody's life. Mm. So each family, each individual, we have to determine or decide what their priority is. Um, the door is open to everyone. Yes, it's, it's true that is, when things are new in medicine, they're always more yes. expensive. Sure. But over time, you know, the cost starts uh, oh, yeah. gradually uh, coming down.
Okay, mm -hmm. let's take it to the issue of terminal diseases. You know, my mother recently was diagnosed with um, cancer and she passed on pancreatic cancer. Now, are you saying that in the case of terminal diseases, we can actually replace these failing cells? I mean, is, is, okay. are we saying that there's a possibility that a terminally <clears throat> ill patient can get their life back? Um, for me to answer that, uh, let me just mention one thing to clarify this quickly. In, in uh, stem cell therapy, there are three types. Okay. Quickly, one is embryonic, which has ethical and uh, religious issues. Nobody wants to be killing potential human beings. Most countries don't do that. The other one is as powerful as embryonic. They call it induced pluripotent stem cells. Okay. That is where you can take the white blood cells or even the skin, reprogram them, you know, uh, uh, manipulate them, expand them, and then make them to target the um, cancer cells. Like um, okay. early last year, you US started uh, a research whereby you can use the white blood cells, natural killers, to target um, cancer cells. That is possible. And also, they will make it easier uh, or simpler. You can use your own fat, mix it to a vaccine, and then inject it directly into the solid tumor and the one with metastasis. That is, mm. that is tumor that, that has traveled far. Yeah. And then the, it will shrink and it will disappear. And this is already going on in, um, although that is also in research stage, um, Nigeria could have also been able to uh, get up on it to jump on the line. But we do not have a vaccine that is needed to bring that into Nigeria. Nigeria. So that's the only reason why we couldn't go for that. So the research is still ongoing, but it's not yet finalized. Yeah, for the cancer? For the cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. I said that three. I only yeah, mentioned two. One. Now, the third one is what is clinically safe, mm -hmm. what is clinically available, and that is adult okay. stem cell therapy. The adult is not about age. It's about fully formed human being because earlier I said embryonic. Yes. Okay. That's potential Embryo. human beings. Yes. Okay. So uh, but, but when it is fully formed, it's considered adult. So under that, you have the bone marrow, the fat derived, you have the um, uh, exosomes, and also you have the umbilical cord stem cell therapy. Suddenly, fat is becoming important. So, uh, <laughs> let, me clarify, let me clarify. The first time I heard about stem cell, I met a lady at the filling station. She took one hour of my time selling a product to me supposedly a supplement that when I use it, if I have majored ones, I use it for them, their stem cell will just start to correct. So is it, <laughs> is it, is it oral Something consumption yes. of anything that, you know, that corrects uh, use the stem cells can yes, start from them? I get asked that question a lot. You're probably talking about the double stem cell, STC-30, mm -hmm. that is common. Those yes. are plant-based products. Mm -hmm. I personally consider them more like a supplement. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that they're not going to work, but it's a supplement you take every day. Mm -hmm. In some people, you might be able to reduce the infl inflammation. Oh. But the adult stem cell therapy is the real stem cells from your own body. body. Because the way God created you, if you ever cut yourself on your skin sometime in the past, you put the pressure, you see the, to stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. If you ever remember, you find like a yellow crunch yes. around it immediately. Yes. Yes. Then the next day or two, it starts drying and closing. Yes. Okay, those are the regenerative process. So regenerative medicine now avoids the injury, the swelling, and then goes straight to regenerating that any organ that is damaged. Mm -hmm. So that the science just have a way to harness what God has already put in our body mm -hmm. and make it, you know, take up any right. issue. <laughs> Let me go on a break because I'm even upset that you don't live in Nigeria, Seth. <laughs> because we need, we, need, we need more of these kinds of doctors who can help us because there's a lot of people dying out there and there are options available outside the country, but we need more of these options in Nigeria. Let me go on a break and come back with continuous okay. conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So, during the break, we're talking about all the all the op opportunities for STEM regenerative medicine. Uh, you're saying something about if somebody has stroke, they can get their speech back. Some yes. of the different diseases, you can actually work against the rubber palsy, mm -hmm. can work with, you know, with regenerative medicine. Mm -hmm. That's good news for many parents and family members out there. Could you tell us how it works? I mean, for somebody that has a stroke or somebody who's undergoing the rubber palsy? Okay. For example, um, when you have a stroke, that means there's defici deficiency of oxygen supply, to your uh, part of one part of your brain, so the 
brain cells are now programmed to die. Uh, we in medical call it apoptosis. Uh, so program said that once the patient has been stabilized, if they cannot speak or they can't move their hand, what um, stem cells uh, um, crisis or ability include this? They can reverse those death sentence. Within hours, by the next day, somebody who cannot speak during the acute phase will start speaking. Somebody who cannot move their hands will start uh, moving. That's, and then for things like cerebral palsy, that is not acute. Or that's already been happening for many uh, months or years. That's, we call it chronic. So if you have a chronic stroke or you have cerebral palsy, you're going to need more than one treatment session to be able to continue to stimulate the brain to grow new cells and then multiply, then differentiate to replace the job of the dead ones. Mm. And so that's pretty much how it works. But when it is acute, when it's within one week, two weeks, three weeks, those uh, brain cells are programmed to die, you can bring them back to life. That is just as simple as, and that is just one treatment. So it is, it is um, the, you get a wow effect in acute stroke, you get one treatment, it's less expensive, but when it is old, you still get results because I have uh, sorry at the center where we, we, I work, then we they have patients there. Right. You know. Right. So are okay. They, so, sorry. Are there non-surgical procedures? Everything has to be surgical when you're um, It is um, elective, non-invasive procedure. Mm. So there is no knife cut. We just use needle to assess what I want, where I'm getting the stem cells from, or whoever is doing what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, we just use needles, then when we come back, once we already separate the uh, stem cells, we introduce it to wherever uh, we need it. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. cut. So, sir, we are Nigerians, and my question is, do we have Nigerian doctors in Nigeria, with Ni in Nigerian hospitals, who are already doing these things? And if we have, who have they, like, what are the, who are the patients that they success have helped? Success cases. And okay. then, is this uh, regenerative medicine, is it 100% success rate? Or how does it work? Okay. Now, starting start with the last question, the success rate. If you go to major clinic website, they will give like uh, 75 to 85 uh, percent. At the center where I work, I would say we have clo close to 95, 97. And then the reason is also you have to be able, the doctor has to be able to identify who it may not work for, even though, although that is few percentage. And then, then that being said, um, there's. Um, I work at the center in uh, Lekki, uh, phase one, whereby uh, stem cell therapy or regenerative medicine procedures have been, have been done. And this actually has been going on in Nigeria since 2014. So talking about Nigerians that have it, we have, uh, I can't mention name of course, mm. but we have likes of uh, ministers, the government, and government ministers, who they don't mind. We have uh, governor keys, we have uh, retired. Governors and Nigerian governors. We have, governors we have retired old, grandmother in a Korodu okay. with acute strokes. So it's both for the rich, the middle, and the poor. Wow. Man. So there are people doing this. Because, I mean, my father also had stroke. So I wish I had known about this because he would have mm. been be able to speak when he had stroke. But um, I have to wrap up, unfortunately. But okay. we, we need to bring you back because the truth is that this is a fairly new type of medicine that people who know about it are using it. Uh, but many Nigerians are not aware that it is possible. Mm -hmm. Just like BC had said earlier, it is expensive right now, mm -hmm. but eventually, mm -hmm. we know as more doctors yes. go into this area, maybe to get more affordable going forward. But thank you very much, sir, for sharing. And any final words you'd like Nigerians to know about this regenerative medicine before we wrap up? All right. Um, quickly, I don't want Nigerians to, you know, have to a lot of hypes because of what is going on, some time that are being sold. Yes, it is true, regenerative medicine, other stem cell therapy, can offer you hope and make it possible, uh, possible, but we all need to be uh, cautious, keep the expectation low, but yes, a lot can be you know, achieved. And you don't have to travel abroad because mm. all these are available in Nigeria. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you. Ooh, that's a lot to take. We have to run. That's all we can take.